Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, we're going to continue on with implementing the cross-platform native plugin into Unity. Now, I wanted to start with one of the more basic features, and so for this video, we're going to be talking about sharing. If you want your mobile game to be able to reach more people, then setting up a share option is pretty much mandatory. And the cross-platform native plugin has a very good share system. So let's get started. Now before we begin, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updates when we publish new videos. So here I have our Season 1 project open inside of Unity. And just a reminder, we're using the cross-platform native plugin Ultra Pack for this tutorial series. If you haven't seen the first video in this tutorial series, then make sure that you click the link in the top right corner of this video, which will take you to the start of this playlist. Now the first thing that we want to do is open up our NP settings. So I'm going to go to Window, Voxel Buster, Native Plugin, and then Open NP Settings. That'll open up this window in our inspector. You're then going to want to make sure that you're in the Application Settings. And so if you're in the NP Settings, it'll look like this. And then you just select Application Settings. From here, we then want to enable the Using Sharing option. So I'm going to check that, and then I'm going to click Save. They also have an option for sharing your game specifically over Twitter using the Twitter SDK. And so if you wanted to use that, you could then check this box. But for this video, we're only going to be talking about the general share option. Now here's the documentation for all the different ways this plugin allows you to share your game. It allows you to send text messages using the message service or send emails using the email service. It also has the ability to share your game over Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook and Twitter, and then it also has this share sheet option, which allows you to share through all services. And that's the one that we're going to be doing in this lesson. This share sheet essentially brings up all the apps that you have installed on your phone and then allows you to select one that you want to send a message through. Now I'll leave a link to this documentation in the description below this video. So the next thing that we want to do is create a new script to hold the code for our sharing options. Now in the documentation, there's four different examples on how to use the share sheet. But for this video, we're only going to be talking about two of them. So here I've pasted in the first example that we'll talk about, which is sharing a message with a URL. Now, as you can see, we're receiving some errors and that's because we need to include some namespaces that are missing. And so I'm gonna select the first error and I'm going to hold Alt and press Enter. And then I'm going to select this first option, which is using voxelbuster.nativeplugin. Now we're receiving the next three errors because we need to create some new variables which will have these names. And we can find out what type of variable we need by looking at what these variables are being saved into. And so if I cursor over where it says text, you can see in this window that it says it's a string. And so we're going to create a new public string and we're gonna call it m underscore share message. If I cursor over where it says URL, you can see that this is also a string. And so we're going to create a public string and we're gonna call it m underscore share URL. Then we have this variable, which is an array of type e share options. So I'm going to type public e share options and then square brackets and we'll call it m underscore excluded options. Now the next error where it says sharing, we're actually only receiving this error because we haven't changed the build platform to either Android or iOS. And so let's go and do that now. So I switched my build platform over to Android and now when I go back to my script, you'll notice that I'm no longer receiving that error where it says sharing. Now all we have to do is take care of this last error. And this error is occurring because we need to create a callback function by this name. And so I'm going to type void, and then I'm going to paste in that function name, finished sharing. Then we need to pass in a parameter, and the type is going to be eshare result, and we're going to call it result. Now, if we wanted our game to do something after it's finished sharing its message, then we would put that code inside this function. But for now, all I'm going to do is debug a message. Now, once I have this function, you can see that I'm no longer receiving any errors. 
Now the last thing that you might want to do is change this function, our share URL using share sheet, to a public function. That way we can then pair this function to a button. So now I'm going to save this script and go back to Unity. Once back in Unity, I want to make sure that I have my main menu scene loaded, and I'm going to be using this little share button to call our share function. So the first thing that I want to do is create a new object that I can attach this sharing script to. So I'm going to click on the Create drop-down menu and then select Create Empty. I'm then going to rename this object to Share Controller. And then I'm going to select our sharing script and drag it into the inspector. The next thing that we need to do is set our variables. And so for the share message, I could say something like check out this awesome game. For the share URL, you would want to put the URL for your game on either the Android or the iOS store. Since I don't have those URLs yet, I'm just going to put in the URL for our InfoGamer website. Then what you could do is you could set your exclude options. So you would set this array to whatever size you need, and then it kind of gives you what looks like an enum, and you can select the different options. But for this, I'm just going to leave it at zero. Once we have these variables set, we then need to pair our share function to this button. And so I'm going to select that button, and then I'm going to add an onclick event, and I'm going to drag in our share controller, I'm then going to look in the drop-down menu, go to sharing, and find where it says share URL using share sheet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this project for my phone, and then I'm going to screen cap my phone and show you how this button works. So here I have the project built out to my phone. I'm now going to click the share button, which will bring up this window, which has all the different apps which I can share a message through. So now let's share this message through Facebook Messenger. I'll then send it to just me. And there we go, we can now see that I shared this message to myself. It says, check out this awesome game, and it has a link to our InfoGamer website. So now let's talk about the other example from the documentation, and that is sharing a message with a screenshot of your game. For this example, they give you this function here, and there's actually a lot of similarities between this function and the other one that we've talked about. We're also not receiving any errors and there's no new variables that we need to create. And so I think the only thing that we need to do is change this function to a public function and then we can pair this function to our share button. Now the main difference between this function and the other function is one, this function doesn't have a sharesheet.url and two, we're calling sharesheet.attach screenshot. Now if I wanted to look at this function, all I would have to do is hold control and then I can click on the function and that'll take me to where it was created. And here you can see what it's doing. And so this is where all the magic happens on how it takes a screenshot of your game and attaches that image to your message for sharing. So let's go back to our sharing script. So we don't really need to worry that much about how it's taking a screenshot, more so we need to worry about what it's taking a screenshot of. And for this, what you can do is you can scroll up to the top and create a new public game object. And we're going to call this our share panel. I'm then going to scroll back down to this function and up at the top, I'm going to enable our share panel. That's set active and I'm going to set it to true. Then all we need to do is in our callback function, our finished sharing function, we can then set this share panel to false. And so now I'm going to save the script and I'm going to go back to Unity. Once back in Unity, I'm going to create this share panel game object. And so I pretty much just created a UI panel and then I added this text to it that says check out this game. Now what you would do is you'd create some artwork to show and what you could also do is you could create a text object that updates with the player's top score. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this panel and then I'm going to select our share controller game object. I'm then going to select our share panel and I'm going to drag it into the share panel variable. 
Now the last thing that we need to do is change the function that's paired to our share button. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go down to our on-click event. You use the drop-down menu, go down to sharing, and find share screenshot using share sheet. Now what I can do is I can build my project again to my mobile device, and then I'm going to screen cap it. All right, so here I have my game built out to my phone once again, and I'm going to click the share button. And here you can see that our share panel was turned on, and then we have all the options once again. And then I'm going to send it to myself again. And there you can see we've sent a screenshot of our share panel. Now something I noticed is that it didn't send any text with this image, and that might be due to the app that we're sharing it through. So maybe there's some problem with the Messenger app. I'm not entirely sure. It should be using the same text that was sent with the other function, but that's kind of a weird behavior that I noticed. Now the last thing that I would say is since the screenshot function doesn't have a URL field that you can send, I would just put the URL to your games in the text message. And what you can do then is you can share a link to your game on both Android and iOS instead of just one at a time. You could even share a link to your game on Steam if it's available. You can also do that with any of the other examples provided in the documentation. I just remembered there's one more thing that I'd like to talk about and that has to do with the error that we were receiving where it says sharing in our code. If you remember right, we were only receiving that error because we hadn't switched our build platform over to Android or iOS. Now this causes some concern because what happens if I want to switch my build platform back to WebGL so I can do a build of our season one project and upload it onto the website? Well, then I'm going to start receiving an error right here again. And so what I would do is add some platform dependent regions around the code in these functions. And that'll look something like this. And so there we have our regions. I'm checking to see if we're using our Android build platform or an iOS build platform. And if we are, then I'm enabling all the code inside these functions. If I'm not using one of these two build platforms, then all of the code inside this region will be commented out. And so that will save you from receiving any errors if you're trying to build for a platform other than Android and iOS. All right, so that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to use the cross-platform native plugin to implement sharing into your game. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Also, leave any questions you have in the comments below and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.